Right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Batch Release. My name is Adrian, and uh, today we're doing a little bit of a lower body focus with a little bit of neck at the end here. So I'm just going to get myself situated. Uh, today, you'll just need a roller and a lacrosse ball or tennis ball. Uh, if you're feeling particularly intense, a golf ball, whatever you have lying around is, uh, is A-OK. -okay. So let's get into it. We're going to start off nice and easy. Just going to open up our posture. It's always a nice one just to open up and kind of breathe and get everything slowly mobilized. So here, tailbone, head and shoulders on the roller. Palms extended. Going for a nice, easy stretch. Just making some snow angels, though depending on where you live, uh, it may or may not be snowing. It snowed here yesterday, but uh, tomorrow's going to be a nice balmy 14. So. Big snow angels while they're here. Nice, easy stretching. Just really working through any kind of tension in our chest and shoulders. You want the back of your palms to glide along the ground if you can. Okay, and here we're just gonna warm up our back and our, uh, our glutes, so we do our back first. So here, we turn the roller sideways. We're gonna hug yourselves. You can either choose to have your hips on the floor or hips off the ground, up to you. And again, we can either choose to have our hands support our head behind our head, or we can have our hands loose just across our chest. So for me, I'm gonna put my hands up to support my neck and hips up to roll up and down my back. You can choose whatever variation works for you. Uh, if you want to target a specific spot, you can also plant your hips, take your back, and just bend and extend your spine. So crunching a little bit, extending back over a particular spot in your T-spine if you want, that's fine too. Again, do whatever, do whatever works for you. Slowly working at it. About 15 more seconds here. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna do the glutes, just hitting all the big muscle areas first. Then we'll get into the nitty gritty with the, uh, with the lacrosse ball. So here, nice and easy, tagging the seat on the roller. You can also use a lacrosse ball for this if you'd like, but I'm gonna stick to the roller just for the, for the beginning here. So whichever glute you wanna target or, or whichever cheek, you're gonna take that same leg, place that ankle on top of your other knee. So if I wanna target my left glute, my left ankle is gonna be on top of my right knee. Just gonna go back and forth. Slowly work it through. And five, four, three, two. Other side. You're just rolling back and forth. Right on that glute. So for me, if I'm targeting my right glute, my right ankle is on top of my left knee. I'm rolling back. And five, four, three, two, 
and one. Perfect. Now we should do the quad, nice and easy, a big muscle group. We'll go for uh, quads, then we'll do our inner thighs right after. So we're going to be face down for all. So climb face down, you want to put the roller just above your knees. Here. Just above the knees, you can get your elbows on your wrists, and our goal here is just to roll back and forth, starting from above our knees, right to about our pelvis. Slowly work it. Nice, easy breaths, just slowly working through those quads. You can also adjust the angle here. You can turn your feet out 45 degrees, you can turn your feet in 45 degrees. Again, do whatever works for you. It's maybe tighter on the inner quad or the outer quad. Not specifically the inner thigh, which is a little different, but just the quad itself. It's a pretty big muscle group. It takes up the entire, you know, front of your thigh, uh, front of your thigh. So whatever works for you, maybe about a minute here. It's really taking our sweet time. If you want to hold in a particular spot and kind of just hang out here for a bit, that's fine too. Again, you do you. We're going to breathe through your stomach the whole time. Think slow, deep breaths. We're going to breathe through your stomach the whole time. Great. Maybe about 10 more seconds here. 10. Nine. And three, two, one. Perfect. Now we're going to go for the inner thigh. So here, on the roller parallel to your mat. Our goal here is to hold a half plank, so my hips are square towards the ground. My inner thigh is on top of the roller. My hips are square. My goal is to roll from my groin to the side of my knee. So try to keep your hips square towards the floor. You're going to roll right from the side of the groin, right about the side of the knee. And everyone's tight in different areas. So notice if you're tight closer to the groin, you have like tight hip flexors or tight adductors. Or if you're right beside the knee, if you find your quad is the problem area, or your inner thigh is a problem area. Again, everyone's different. Find a, uh, find a work speed. Of course, here, if you want to adjust it, you can, again, I can hold a particular spot. It's fine just to rest and really press into a problem area. That's fine too. Make sure you're not cutting out circulation. There's a lot of blood supply uh, on the inner thigh. So make sure you're not cutting out circulation. If your toes are going numb, uh, maybe ease off. About 10 more seconds here, 10. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Other side. So here, you get nice and high. Slowly working through any kind of tension. Again, you can hang it near your inner, inner, um, inner groin. You can hang it near the side of your knee. Everyone's tight different areas, find over extreme. Maybe about 20, 15, 20 more seconds. And three, two, and one. Perfect. From here, we're going to do our shins, which is always a fun one. Uh, <laughs> so, we start off with both our knees on the, on the roller. This one's usually pretty uh, pretty rough. So we're gonna start both knees on top of the roller. Here, you wanna cross your calves. Once you cross your calves, 
whichever calf is on the bottom or shin is on the bottom, we're going to lean towards that side. So me, my left calf is on the bottom or my left shin. I'm going to lean my hips towards the left. So my hips are at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to bring those knees into my chest and slowly work back and forth. Now it's tempting to kind of flex your toes like this. Try to keep your feet relaxed. But it's tempting to kind of flex everything and tighten as hard as you can. We want to do the opposite. We want to try to relax into it. And that means holding it on one spot and just trying to just breathe. That's fine too. Again, work with what you got. You may feel this referred down to kind of the top of your foot. That's normal too. This is the muscle that flexes your toes towards your knee. So if you feel referral to kind of traveling down, that's normal. Do your best to work through. It, it, it will feel likely painful, but it shouldn't feel excruciating. If it's that bad, consider uh, moving to this type of position where you're holding like a half plank and my back foot is actually on the floor and just my one leg is on the roll. So three, two, and switch sides. So again, modify it any way you need to. If you need to go like this, just go back and forth with both shins, that's fine. You need to modify it where one leg is on the ground just to ease the weight off of it. That's fine too. Again, do whatever works for you. Got about 20 seconds left, so take your time. I know variation works for you and works. About 15 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so here we do uh, our IT band. So when you get in this position, is we're actually gonna lay on our side. The bottom leg is gonna be straight, and the top leg can either be stacked or uh, in front or behind supporting. Ideally, in front or behind supporting, so I'll show you. So on our side, the bottom leg is fully extended. The top leg is usually either in front or behind. It doesn't really matter which one it is. I prefer it in front, but doesn't make a huge difference. Here, we're trying to roll from the edge of our hip, almost the side of our pocket, right to about the first three-fourths of the, of the thigh, and then right back. So again, we're trying to work through that nice full range of motion. If I don't hold in a particular spot, that's fine. Whatever works for you, trying to work that full distance. If you want to hang in a particular spot, that's a okay. We got about 15, 20 more seconds here. I'm actually going to put my timer up. But about 15, 20 more seconds. Excellent. And five, four, three, two, other side. So here, bottom leg extended. You want your other leg folded either uh, in front or behind. It doesn't really matter. I prefer in front, but it doesn't make a big difference. Again, our goal is to roll from the side of our hip, almost the side of your pocket, right down to about you know, three fourths of your leg and then work your way back. Nice and controlled. Again, if we're trying to jam it in there, we're going to slowly work through whatever you got. Good, about 10 more seconds, 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, so from here, we're going to give the roller a bit of a break. We're going to switch to the lacrosse ball or hockey ball or tennis ball, whatever you have lying around. So here we're going to start <coughs> from the bottom and we're going to work our feet. We're going to start with and I, and your big toe. Your goal is to start with your big toe and roll right along the arch, right along here. You can also technically use your roller. I'll show you that variation. But you can't technically use the roller. You need your balance for this one. But you want to kind of hang your foot off the roller and work right along the arch using kind of the edge of the roller. That's fine too. The key part is make sure you have good balance because you can very easily uh, slip forward or slip back. 
but you can use the edge of the ruler. If you find this one a bit challenging, you can also just plant the leg. Just use the ruler that way, one foot on the ground, other ones. But the ball is also valid. Again, find it works for you. About 10 more seconds here. And three, two. Now the center of our foot. So put the ball between the balls of your feet and then work right along the center. And as you travel back, imagine getting them off your shoe. You're trying to do almost like a moonwalk motion. You're trying to press down and peel the flat of your foot long. Hold the ball there with your foot. So again, it's almost like you're trying to get gum off your shoe. You're trying to do the moonwalk. You know, whatever, whatever reference works for you. About 20 more seconds. Three, two, now other side. So big toe, other foot, working right along the arch, nice and in control. Slowly working. Ten seconds. Two. One now in the middle of our foot. So we tend to do balls of our feet, press into the middle. You're trying to peel your foot back again, like you're trying to do the moonwalk. You're trying to get gum off your shoe, you're trying to drag it along the foot as best you can. Slowly work back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. So here we're going to do a little bit more hip work and we'll relax with our neck and shoulders after. So this one I call something like clockwork one, but you can call it whatever you like. Uh, we're going to do some anchoring first. We're going to figure out where our bodies are and then we're going to slowly move through different angles. So first you want to do some anchoring. We're going to find out where our hip bones are. So line face up, find your belly button. Once you find your belly button, Go off to the side and a little bit down, and you should feel your hip bones. Once you find your hip bones, pick a side. And from here, on about an angle, um, on a diagonal down, you want to reach for your, the side of your glute or your glute bead. If you're not sure where that is, it'll feel like it's behind your pocket. If you're still unsure, maybe you go an inch or two towards the floor, and then an inch or two towards your heels. And you should feel like a squishy area in the side of your bum. You're going to place the ball in that side squishy area of your bum, if it feels like it's pressing into bone, readjust. You do not want to feel, it shouldn't feel like it's pressing into bone. So here, laying on our side, put the ball in our glute bead. You want to be able to lay on top. You can have your legs straight, you can have your legs bent. Doesn't matter, so your knees bent, but as long as, you're, as, long as your thigh angle is, is, um, is straight with your body. Better be on your side. If you find it difficult with both legs stacked, you can ease off the pressure by putting a leg behind you. Put your hand here for about 15 more seconds, really digging into our glute beads or our side bumps. Uh, if you're not sure where exactly you should be feeling it, uh, if you do like a side squat walk where you put the band around your knees and walk sideways, you should be right in that side bone area. If you don't do that exercise, I definitely recommend it. It's, uh, it's good. It's good for you. All right. About five more seconds here. Five. Three, two, one. Well, then from here, we're going to go to about 45 on a nice angle. You may need to readjust your hips, readjust the ball so it's still digging into your glute bead. Again, everyone's different and everyone's anatomy is a little different. I know it works for you. We're going to hang out at about 45 degrees. If you're doing just a one leg variant, you just have to move the bottom leg. That's it. I'm going to keep both legs on here, but you can only, you only have to do one uh, if you don't want to do both.
and five. Four, three, two, now for 90 degrees. So if you can't bring your legs all the way up, make a nice 90 degree angle. If you need to bend your knees, you can bend both knees like you're sitting in a chair. That's fine too. If here you want to have your legs. If you can, your thighs at 90 and your, your legs extended. But if not, then like sitting in a chair is fine too. Whatever works for you. Everyone's different. So we're going to breathe through your stomach the whole time. We have 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. Easing off, slowly easing off on one side. Now we're gonna do the other side. Do your spin around or whatever works for you. We're gonna find that hip bone once more. So find that hip bone, reach down and then uh, down towards your back and then down towards your heels. Feel that the side of your, facing the side of your bum, your glute lead, you feel like it's behind your pocket. You should feel a bony, sorry, you should feel a squishy area around the bony area. So here, leg on our side. Leg straight, if you need to readjust or you can put your leg up here, that's fine. Put leg in front, whatever works for you. I'm gonna keep my legs stacked, but everyone's pain tolerance and also intensity level for this is different. So do what works for you. You can also uh, juggle the intensity by either leaning forward or leaning back. Generally, generally leaning back is worse. If you're digging a little more into the group. But again, everyone's different, find what works for you. About 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. From here, move your bottom leg about four, to 45 degrees. So on, on a nice piece of diagonal, lay that set and work. Some people it gets worse the higher they go. For some people it gets easier. Everyone's different. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Now full ninety. So leg straight. You can try to have your both legs extended. If you can't, it's okay. Just bend your knees like you're sitting in a chair like this. But try to see if you can extend both legs up. So you're making a nice L shape with your body. If not, you can just bend the bottom leg. That's fine too. Or straighten the bottom leg. Good, about 20 seconds left. In five, four, three, two, and easy enough. Perfect. You're gonna do a little bit of upper traps. Take that same ball, do a little bit of line marking. So here, we're gonna find our collarbone. Once you found our collarbone, we're going to take the video information. We're going to kind of crab it, almost like a crab claw. We're going to pinch that up the trap. We're going to take the ball, place it right underneath there. Make sure not many hands away. And from here, we're slowly going to move our hand. And we, want, we basically want to draw some shapes. We want to draw some like little circles. We can gently wave up and down. We can kind of create a spiral. We can spell our name multiple times, whatever works for you. The goal here is to try to push that muscle up. Sit behind your upper trap and just work on any kind of range of motion, both above the head, but also just through the neck and shoulders. So for me, I like to stay relatively still and just work and in, in sink into one particular spot. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. About 10 seconds left. Just working through whatever range of motion you got and then up the track. And three, two, and switch sides.
If you want to move it back and forth, you can. You can draw circles, spell your name, whatever works for you. Great, about 20 seconds left. So really taking our time to sink. Ted. Three, two, one. And last, we're going to do a little bit of rotator cuff. We're going to place the ball behind your shoulder. Keep that elbow down. You want to feel just right behind your shoulder girdle where your arm comes in and your torso begins. And right there, we're going to slowly rotate back to front. The key part here is not extending your arm. It's tempting to just, if I extend the arm, I can flip flop back and forth very easily. I go actually keep my elbow at 90 degrees and see what my range of motion is as my elbow bent. And three, two, as well as 40 seconds and one, other side. So place it underneath that shoulder. You're gonna try to rotate that arm up and down. Avoid extending the arm, that makes it a lot easier. You want your elbow bent to 90 degrees as you slowly rotate up and down. And notice if one side's a lot worse than the other. Notice the rotation. If your right side is a lot tighter or worse, if your left side's a lot tighter and worse. This could be your anatomy, it could be your structure, it could just be habits. Again, everyone's different. Ten more seconds, ten. Uh, and three, two, and one. Easing up. All right. Excellent work today. We did mostly lower body. A little bit of rotator cuff and upper trap in. So thank you everyone who came live and thank you everyone who watched this online later. I, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.